Good morning and a very warm welcome. You're watching Janata Television and this is the English Bulletin with me, Shushan Dhakal. The top stories first. The government warns of second wave of coronavirus. Health Ministry appeals public to be careful about the infection. Government confirms 490 new cases of coronavirus. Active cases surge to 4,384. Chief Minister of Gandaki Province faces a no-confidence motion, ends parliamentary session abruptly. U.S. imposes sanctions on Russia over cyber attacks, expects the move to deter Russia's harmful activities. And English side Manchester United beat Granada to qualify for the Europa League semis, Arsenal to face former boss Emery in the last four. And now the news in detail. The health, the health minister has informed that controlling the spread of coronavirus's second wave has looked increasingly difficult, stating that controlling the spread of the virus has become more challenging than in the past. The ministry has urged everyone to be more cautious and careful. The ministry also published a list of 14 districts where the virus has spread more rapidly and urged everyone to refrain from going to schools. In districts like Kathmandu, Bhaktapur, Laritpur, Kaski, Rupandehi, Chitwan, Bake, Pursa, Koilali, Morang, Dang, Surkhet, Bara and Baglum, all congested areas and services have to be shut down, the ministry has said. The ministry has also appealed everyone to, in these areas to not participate in crowded places like schools, restaurants and clubs, sports, gyms, public worship and processions, meetings, conferences, gatherings, cinema halls, shopping malls, dance halls, party palaces, etc. to comply with public health standards. The Ministry has also directed all hospitals to run a fever clinic and remain well stocked to test and screen for the virus. The Ministry has also directed the hotels to allow foreign guests to, guests to stay with them only if they have a PCR negative report for the coronavirus. Similarly, private laboratories and hospitals have been directed to keep the prescribed fee for testing and treatment of coronavirus to Rs 3,500 per day for normal patients, Rs 7,000 for moderately ill patients and Rs 15,000 for complicated cases. The government yesterday confirmed 490 new cases of coronavirus across the country. Following the latest round of tests, the total cases of coronavirus in the country have climbed to 282,054, while the number of active cases has increased to 4,384. According to the Ministry of Health and Population, altogether 272,604 infected persons have recovered from the disease in the country so far. The death toll from coronavirus has climbed to 3,066 following the death of five new patients yesterday. Nepal is currently among the top 54 countries that have been most affected by the pandemic. The USA tops the list with over 32.24 million confirmed cases, followed by India with over 14.28 million cases. Coronavirus has infected more than 139.6 million people across the world and claimed 2.99 million lives. This is Janata Bulletin. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back after the break. We continue with other national news. A no-confidence motion has been registered against Chief Minister of Gandaki Province, Prithivi Subagurung. MPs of Nepali Congress, Maui Centre and Rashtriya Janamorja registered the no-confidence motion at the Provincial Assembly yesterday. Altogether, 28 lawmakers of the Provincial Assembly have signed the motion. Maui Centre had withdrawn its support to the provincial government before registering the motion. Meanwhile, the provincial government abruptly ended the provincial assembly, assembly session after learning that the opposition parties were planning to register the no-confidence motion. Leaders of the opposition parties, including Nepali Congress, Maui Centre, Janamorcha and Janata Samajwadi Party, are discussing to appeal to the state governor to resume parliamentary session. And now the news from the economic front.
Nepal Army has published a journal on the Kathmandu Tarai Madhist fast track. The Nepal Army held a program at Army headquarters at Bhadrakali on Thursday and made public the KTFT journal, which included works of various experts on the justification, potential and investment on Kathmandu Tarai Madhist Expressway. The authors who stood first, second and third from their works included in the journal were awarded gas prizes. The KTFT journal, made public by Chief of Army Staff Purnachanda Thapa, contains 21 articles and essays, including 11 in English and 9 in Nepali. And now the international news. has announced sanctions against Russia in response to what it says are cyber attacks on and other hostile acts. According to BBC, the measures which, ta which target dozens of Russian entities and officials aim to deter Russia's harmful foreign activities. The statement issued by the White House says Russian intelligence was behind last year's massive solar winds hack and accuses Moscow of interference in the 2020 election. Russia denies all the allegations and says it will respond in kind. The sanctions announced on Thursday are detailed in an executive order signed by President Joe Biden. They came at a tense time for relations between the two countries. In a call with Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday, Biden vowed to defend U.S. national interests firmly while pur proposing a meeting with Putin to find areas where the two countries could work together. You're watching Jonathan Bulletin and now the latest from the world of sports. Manchester United eased past Granada to set up a Europa League last four meeting with AS Roma. United won the Europa League in their last final but have lost all their four semi-finals in which they have featured featured during Solskjaer's reign, including in this competition last season. Their progress to a fifth was never in doubt after Edinson Cavani provided a smart finish to Paul Pogba's sixth-minute flicked header to extend their aggregate lead to 3-0 after a two-goal win in Spain last week. United scored a second in stoppage time when Jesus Vallejo turned Alex Telles' cross into his own net. In other matches, Arsenal secured an important win as they impressively swept aside Slavia Prague to reach the Europa League semi-finals. The Gunners produced one of their best performances of the campaign to turn a potentially difficult night into a fine away victory. With the tie evenly poised at 1-1, they scored three goals in the opening 24 minutes and had another ruled out by the video assistant referee, all but ending the contest in the opening period. Nicolas Pepe squeezed home at the near post to open the scoring in the 18th minute before Alexander Lacazette converted a penalty three minutes later following a foul on Bukayo Saka. Saka coolly swept in a third as Arsenal tore their Czech opponents apart once more. Artita's side controlled the game expertly thereafter and Lacazette smashed his second low into the net in the later stages. The Gunners will face Villarreal managed by former Arsenal boss Unai Emery in the last four while United will face AS Roma. We are at the end of Jonathan Bulletin and the headlines once again. Government warns of second wave of coronavirus. Health Ministry appeals public to be more careful about infection. Government confirms 490 new cases of coronavirus. Active cases surge to 4,384. Chief Minister of Gandaki Province faces no confidence motion, ends parliamentary session abruptly. U.S. imposes sanctions on Russia over cyber attacks, Expe expects the move to deter Russia's harmful activities. And English side Manchester United beat Granada to qualify for the Europa League semis. Arsenal foot to face former boss Emery in the last four. And that's all from the English News Desk for today. You can follow Janata Television and our programs on various social media platforms, including on our website, janatasamajar.com. Keep watching Janata Television. Namaste.